Okay, so today, guys, is more stream highlights. You might have noticed in the last few episodes that I haven't been running very well. Could this be the episode that we start to turn it around? Let's hope so. And we also do have a pretty aggressive regular running a very ambitious three barrel bluff against us, which I think you'll enjoy as well. If you haven't checked out yesterday's video from the MicroStakes Guide, it is a concept video about blockers and range analysis. Uh, then go and check that out. I really appreciate it. Um, but for now, guys, that's going to do it. Stay safe and take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Popping the nuts was also acceptable to me. Oh, we're going to fold these tens, guys, against this guy. Then we have a club. Seems fair. Two pair. We still have the brass Brazilians here, guys. Been a twenty-two to turn. Still have the brass Brazilians, guys. We're going for the the whole shebang. Going to four bit four. Don't love it. This guy's not not the most aggressive in the world, but maybe he is. Get there. Hold. Hold. Boys. Are we back? He folded to the C bit over there. Can raise this flop. We are going to have some significant bloofs. See you there. There's pocket eights, guys. There's pocket eights. I'm going to do some tanking. And then move the rest of my chips into the middle of the pot. Against a good player, I'd probably just flat here. <clears throat> Against this guy, I'm not flying. So I don't back him to fold an over pair, which he's repping. <clears throat> oh god, hold! Hold! Yeah! What a clean run. Guys! The holding has returned. Hold it. Hold. Can we get our third hold on? Hold. Uh, hold. Oh god, hold. Uh. Yes, we held so hard. Let's go. The hold is back, boys. With the mojo has returned. T bang. Can we bet the turn? Going about the river. 22. See bang. We threw that. He's, he called. Gonna be, gonna be barreling that one, guys. For 22. And we're going to be going for all of it. I'd rather have Jack 10. But. Three bet here. <clears throat> no, isolated limper. Sorry. Quite deep, so we're going to check this turn. We're not folding, but we're not happy. Now we're pretty pleased. We're going to jam. Just in case this guy's... Cause, because he limped pre. Um, he could be so bad that he'd pay off with like two pair. Otherwise I would just not. Because I don't want to give my money to poker stars. But this guy might. I'd rather he fold than call. Unless he has two pair. <laughs> now it looks like we want to call. I can't imagine how you can possibly call without a 10. Oh my god. Guys, I knew it. I knew that guy was going to call with two pair. As soon as he limped pre, I was like, I'm going to have to go for this. 
on the river, when I got to the river, I was like, I'm going to have to go for the lot because he could call with two pair. I mean, obviously, it makes no sense. <laughs> you have the nut, so obviously, I'm going to go for all of it. But um, there are some people that I probably wouldn't jam there with because they're either bluffing or they're folding to a 10. And I don't want to build the pot. But I guess I'm just talking out my arsehole. But I just knew that that guy was going to call with two pair sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, we're still winning. And yeah, last few days, even at 10, we've been struggling with some variants. But obviously, that's going to happen to everyone over a small sample, which this still is. We're not folding without a heart or a diamond, guys. Close on this. I think against this guy, we're going to go for it. Too much like king six, seven, eight, nine. Jack. Let's go. Down here, we're calling a three bet from Phoenix. We could be going for, for, for the lot here, guys. <laughs> Against Phoenix without a club. This is a student, by the way. Um, like 200K, I want to say, in the last year. I've been, had a full-time job and been working full-time, so... Gonna call this Seabat from from Phoenix. He's deep in the tank, guys. We're calling the turn. Nick check. Just kidding, um, just kidding, Phoenix. Check back's fine, I think. I don't know what to do, guys. I think sets would have raised. Do I just jam? I don't know what to do. I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet that. Brick! What is this pot? I didn't know whether I wanted to... Ch oh, fucking hell. I don't like having a spade. I was in, exa in this exact same spot yesterday, guys. I ended up folding. This is exactly the same spot. I ended up folding. I can do it again. Oh my god, guys. Ah, oh, 
Psy. It's never me. It's never me. I really hate losing these pots. get queens to fold with my range. Now he has ace king. What a joke. <sighs> I hate these fucking pots. Should start rat holing, but it's just fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, he actually had queens. This guy we're going to stack off. I can't believe it, guys. Are you kidding me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Faking a slop in position here. See you at the river. We need a doof. That'll do. I'm gonna go all in, guys. I don't see how Ace King can fold the turn. I don't think he'd bluff the river for a half stack, so. Probably just fold a King's there, didn't see what it was. Flopping a full house. Get to two greens. He's just snap folded. Um, we're gonna call. If he won bigs again, we'll raise. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do people do this? Do you think this is like the check button or something? Okay. We'll have the money if you if you insist. That's not good. Sorry, mate. <laughs> up here we three bet as well. The guy folded to the ace, ace five. We three bet up here. So this board, we're gonna see that. Bit bigger because it's need some protection. Need a lot less now. Could consider checking back, but I won't. Gonna have to go with this, guys. Unfortunately. Oh my god, hold! Yay! What's he doing? What a boob! This guy's all in. We have, we have the aces. And he's all in as well. And we still have aces. Oh my god, that's such a good situation. Hold! Hold! Oh. Yay! Holding! Ace King down here. We three bet, got four bet. And we are gonna go with it. Against this guy. Pretty aggressive. Could even get some folds from like Jacks. Get out. Here. Ooh. 
I'm going to call the flop. Get the big Mac 99. Oh, someone told me this guy was really good. He's super aggressive. Don't like his bet here much. I don't think he'd be betting much here. I'm going to call. Turning a flush. My worry is that he has an overpair with a good heart when he's barreling hard here. I'm going to call the turn. I'm surprised at these barrels. How often is he see betting the turn? Quite often. We are going to have to call the river, guys. He can have some houses. But he has the ace of hearts. What the fuck is this? If this guy has a four, let me tell you something. If this guy has a four, I'll be upset. I hope he has a queen. We're just going to call again, guys. We're going to make it look like we're struggling. Because it gives him that, oh god, he might fold feeling. And then he'll think, oh, we'll just go for one more. Ugh. Ugh. How bad is this guy? I mean, I'm never folding. Not my favourite river, but... So, we won four and a half buy-ins. We won some flips, but we're taking those. Um, we are we were up five and a bit, very very quickly, playing it excellently, and then we just got a little bit devastated by a few ridiculous pots. Scrummish Stash, thanks for the follow, buddy. I missed you, I think. Uh, and then we managed to rally right at the end here, and that was pretty good. Um, thanks for tuning in this afternoon. See you guys on the next one.